Oh! Uh, I done forgot how to make a YouTube video, y'all. All right, am I in the sun if I do this? I'm slightly in the sun. Oh yeah, that's no good. What's this shadowy spot, Dad? You must never go there, Simba. It's where the dog poops in the corner of the yard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ooh. Ooh. Oh, not so bad. Welcome to Shield Outdoors. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully this doesn't turn out to be real crusty because I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. So for those of you who might be new to the channel, if for somehow you find this video after I've ruined my algorithm, Thank you so much for being here. I'm Brad. We do all kinds of hunting and fishing outdoor videos. Sometimes we do eBay stuff and Amazon stuff. We do all kinds of things. So you can check out some of the videos, but please do stick around and subscribe. And if you're one of my returning customers, AKA a subscriber, AKA one of the boys or girls, thank you so much for being here. I miss you guys, I really do. Oh, for today, I was just unpacking some stuff. I had a very unsuccessful trip to Wisconsin. Ended up being lightning storms up on Sturgeon Bay. Didn't catch a single fish. Didn't even get to fish because of waves and lightning. But I was unpacking some of my stuff and I found my drop shot bag. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's go over, let me show everybody what my favorite drop shots are. There's probably not gonna be a order of preference, but these are gonna be my favorite ones and I'll tell you why they're my favorites and I'll tell you when I throw them, how I throw them, all that good stuff. The question of the day though. So, right now, I think I use a Rev Rose. Um, I think it's a Daiwa Rev Rose reel. I want your suggestions. What's your favorite spinning reel, open face reel, whatever you wanna call them. What's your favorite reel for something finessey like a drop shot? I have a seven foot six, Omen, 13 fishing Omen rod that I love. I also have a uh, Defy rod that I love. And I typically use FC Sniper, six or eight pound test. But I, I think I want a different uh, reel. So let me know in the comments. Comment below your favorite spinning reel, drop shot reel, finesse reel, things like that. Let's go ahead and get into these. Of course they're in my Monster Bass bag because it's the easiest way to uh, organize my stuff. But I got all kinds. Let's start first with a local company because I, I like supporting my local people. This is called Poor Boy Baits. I have three different baits by them. I bought them at a local tackle shop, but they're about two hours away from me in Warsaw, Indiana. And I use these in super, super, super crystal clear, um, or if it's a really sunny day, I use these when I really gotta look either natural or if I want a very clear bait. So I have two different sizes, Poor Boy Baits. They're clear and they have like a little bit of a ripple to them and a big fat tail. I have a shorter one and a longer one and they're just clear with some blue flake. I love these on a nice sunny day because they're gonna stand out. If you're in clear water on a sunny day, they're gonna stand out, but I don't want them to stand out so much that fish are scared by them. So on those clear water fisheries, especially um, largemouth, love these. If I'm on a clear lake or like a chain lake, um, largies love these bad boys. So that's poor boy baits. And I also have like a little bit of a goby style. And again, they're clearish, but these actually have some flake and some blue and black to them. These are more like a little goby or like a little eel, something like that. But the head is nice and solid and it's very thick and dense plastic. So you always stay on the hook nice and easy, but this tail just dances all around. You don't even have to move it. And look at this thing bouncing against my shirt. Look at that. Okay, so that's poor boy baits. I wanted to give them a shout because I really do like their stuff. So let's go with probably a lot of people love these, Robo Worm. I love Robo Worm, but here's the difference. I have several different colors and sizes. I think this is all that I brought out here. Ooh, maybe. So I brought three of my favorite Robo Worms out here. First, my absolute favorite is the six inch straight tail and it's baby bluegill. Now, these have a black top, a blue center, and a clear with glitter bottom. I, j I don't know what it is. These have absolutely destroyed for me for two years in a row. I've already been using them this year and they're very, very salty. And I'll give you guys some close-ups, of course, but these suckers, oh man. And, and if you nose hook them, let's say you catch two or three fish and you, and you don't lose the plastic, sometimes I'll just rip the head off and just start over. And you might lose like, what, half an inch, quarter inch. So the straight tail, six inch baby bluegill. And then my second most favorite, if I need to be a little more finessey than that, is a four and a half inch, and this is called the hologram shad. It's black on top, 
whitish clear on the bottom and it has some like uh, it has some clear glitter to it as well. Now I love those. Roboworm, I think that's probably a classic. A ton of people use them. But I found these this year. Sorry, there's a race car apparently. I found these this year and I don't know if you guys have ever seen like those pre-rigged worms. I won't say the name, but they're like a little pre-rigged worm and you just hook them onto a swivel. It's like what, I feel like a lot of people start with them and they're like a dollar a piece, but they tear up quick. One of the colors that we used to use when I was a kid was called grape. So when I saw that Robo Worm makes a seven inch and it's called black grape, I had to order these. Now I've only used them once and they are great for a large mouth bite. They are great. Now I haven't caught any smallies with them, but a seven inch bluish purplish, it's called black grape, but it's like bluish purple. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that there's any black in this at all. Just a dark purplish blue. This is insane. If you've ever used those worms, like I was talking about those little pre-rigged ones, maybe I'll make a video about that. Comment below if you wanna see me make a video about $1 pre-rigged worms. Oh, I am so covered in salt. Robo worm is about that salty life. All right, so. So if you need finesse or if you want to go for like a smallie bite, I like these four and a half and six inch and I like these seven inch for a large mouth bite. In fact, I'm probably going to use these this weekend. All right. That's the classics. I think, I think when you think of, oh, I think when a lot of people think of drop shot, they probably think of robo worm, but let's go to some stuff that might not be as known. Fanatic baits has a goby and these are so realistic. If you have a, a body of water, now obviously you don't have to have gobies in your water, but if you have a place where gobies work really well, these are so swimmy. You could actually twitch these around or kind of just reel them in slow. They just twitch all over the place. I think they're great for smallies, great for river fishing, and they're made by Fanatic Baits. I feel like I probably got these in a subscription box at some point, but I don't really remember, but I love them. Big fat tail, jointed like little plastic body. Another company you may not have heard of, is BioBait. So BioBait makes a lure that is completely biodegradable. So if you lose this in the fish, if you lose it in the pond, if you drop it on the shore and don't realize it, it's biodegradable. It breaks down a lot faster than some of these other plastics do. Um, I don't have this open yet because they actually have really, really oily stuff, fishy type oil on the bait and I don't want that to get out on my hands or out of the bag. So this is a sealed package. But BioBait makes a black worm, a little straight tailed worm. It actually is supposed to be like a leech, but like leech style baits, if you've never tried a leech style bait on a drop shot, they work really, really well. So if you want a drop shot and have like a leechy style, this is also really good for walleye. Let's say we're trying to save some money. If we're trying to save some money, the Bass Pro Tournament Series actually makes a really, really solid straight tail worm. These specifically are the tricolor worm and this is a four inch. This one's like gray, glitter, white, and fluorescent. Very different, the fluorescent in it really pops and I use these a lot in the summertime as well. You can see just how like jiggly these are and you know, I keep holding these like this. You can wacky rig a drop shot. You can drop shot right through the middle of this, this uh, worm and wacky rig this if you're pitching around docks sometimes that is an insane movement and those fish absolutely love it right now it's like 90 degrees out here so the water's gonna start getting really hot this is an awesome choice another goby style bait kind of a fat head bait with a really skinny flippy tail the slammer not only does x zone have the slammer this is the pro series slammer they have a three and a quarter finesse slammer and then they have the regular slammer oh oh the bugs are getting to me so i have three different styles of x zone lures slammers and they're all kind of a goby style bait. This one's called the Kill Perch. This one's called the Big Limit. And this one's called the 309. Basically, I stick to those very natural colors on these because if I'm going with a very natural style bait, if I'm going with a natural color, if I'm trying to look like a goby, I want to be as natural as possible anyway. See, the Kill Perch is probably the most natural of all of them. It doesn't have as much glitter and it's just, it just looks like a little green and yellowish fish. So Egg Zone Lures, you can definitely check those out in the 309 color, yeah, no, this one. 309 is a great one, especially for largies. This is a little bit of a bigger bait. You can see they're a little bit bigger about the thickness of my pinky and they have some purple, some blue, some purple glitter, just really solid baits. Of course, we've all seen KVD. Now KVD, if you are a largemouth fisherman and you don't like drop shot because you're like, oh, I get tons of small bites. You know, you can go get like Magnum drop shot lures. One of those would be 
the Dream Shot, and you can actually get a Magnum Dream Shot. So this is a KVD lure, and these are one of the crazy colors I use. If I am fishing in my local reservoir and there's a little bit of stain to it, first thing in the morning, I do not mind throwing a very pink lure. In fact, last year I was out with my boy Ty and I caught like a four, right at a four pounder off the front of a dock. It was feeding heavy. I kept seeing the water swirl and I threw this Magnum Dream Shot in there. You can see how big this is against my hand. It's a big pink lure with a little bit of a purple pearlescent on it. But if you're a largemouth guy and you want bigger bites, you can definitely upgrade your drop shots. If you're somewhere where you're getting a lot of nips, if you want a really elasticy lure because you're getting nips or maybe they're picking it up and they're pulling on it but they're not getting the bite and you're just having to let it sit there until they really get it in their in their throat of course z-man and i'm attacking myself z-man elastex so the elastex are so ridiculously stretchy like look at this that's just the body and then plus the tail if you're getting fish that are like nipping a lot and you don't want to tear up your lures these elastex last forever and they're so durable for being so stretchy you would think they wouldn't be as durable if you've never used an elastic go out and try them just do it just do it or go buy some just to play with how fun is that Boing. so in these these are called the trick shots and it's called the deal during the shad spawn um when i was like wanting a finesse approach maybe like let's say a storm came through or let's say the fish just weren't biting well i was putting a little jig head on this like an eighth ounce jig head and I was just swimming this little sucker. This little tail darts all around. It's a flat paddle, st paddle style tail. If I had to choose my favorite, I would say the Robo Worms are my favorite. Comment below which of these would be your favorite. Or if you have a favorite drop shot, comment below. These are just some of my favorites. I have, I have dozens of bags of drop shots. But for that trip to Wisconsin, this is what I took. These are the, these are the lures I took. I thought, you know, if we were going to fish all day on these big open flats in the middle of Sturgeon Bay or Green Bay, I thought these are the baits I'm going to bring. So if you like these, comment below which one you like the best. If you have a favorite drop shot, even if it's one of these but a different color, just let me know below. I'm always trying, to, I'm always trying new stuff. I want to try new stuff. I want to go new places. I think I'm going to go back up to Wisconsin. I'm going to meet with somebody up there hopefully soon and actually catch some Wisconsin smallies. I've already bought the license for the year. I might as well go back up, right? So Thank you so much for being here. I'm covered in salt. Most of these lures are covered in salt. I think the robo worms were the most salty, but all right. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos, but I think we're gonna get back on a roll here. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm going back inside in the AC. Peace.